Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Today's story, we are doing an art challenge, okay? So if you have some paper or markers or something close by, I would love you to draw today's creature and go on Instagram and send it to me at Kids Animal Stories. I would love to show your picture to all of our listeners. Are you guys ready for today's amazing story about an amazing lionfish? Me too, let's go! It was a beautiful Friday evening and Lily was working very hard to prepare for tomorrow because tomorrow was a very big day. All right, said Lily. Everything is starting to look perfect. Finally, after all this hard work, my fins look beautiful. Yes, she is a lionfish and lionfish are very beautiful. They have the most elegant and beautiful fins of almost any creature in the ocean. If you see one, you would say, wow, that's a beautiful fish. (laughs) And that is exactly what Lily was going for. You see, she needed to look extra beautiful because tomorrow was a big day. She lived near uh, some coral and tomorrow was the annual synchronized spawning of corals. Wait, what on earth is the annual synchronized spawning of corals, you ask? Well, that is a very special day. It's kind of like a spring cleaning day for coral. Do you know what spring cleaning is? Yeah, it's like a special day where you clean everything really, really good. Well, it's kind of like that. And it's also the day that all the coral starts to grow. And we all know why coral is important, right? Yes, because it's a great cleaning thing for the ocean. It helps keep our water clean and places for the fish to sleep and live. And it's very important. So the one day of the year when the coral can get extra clean and grow, that is a big day. There's a parade and parties and it's a very important day for all the fish. And Lily wanted to look her best. All right. Everything is looking perfect and I need to get some sleep because tomorrow is a very big day. I have so many plans and I don't want to miss any of them. I got to get a good night's sleep. As Lily went to bed and laid down, she fell fast asleep. (laughs) Have you ever heard a fish snore? It's pretty silly. There's lots of bubbles involved. (laughs) Well, in the middle of all the excitement last night, Lily forgot one really small but very important detail. She forgot to set her alarm clock. Dun, dun, dun. (sighs) Oh, as Lily stretched her fins and wait a second. Why is it so bright? I was supposed to wake up when it was dark out. Wait a second. What time is it? She swam over to her clock. Oh, no. I overslept. Has that ever happened to you before? Where you kind of sleep too long and... Oh, dear. Now we got to hurry. Lily swam into the bathroom as fast as she could. She looked in the mirror and couldn't believe it. (gasps) What in the world? happened Uh uh-oh lily (laughs) have you ever had bed hair before do you know what bed hair is yeah it means your hair uh something crazy happened while you were sleeping and your pillows somehow attacked your hair and now it looks like a giant bird nest well that's happened to me before maybe it hasn't happened to you but lily oh no something happened last night And all the work that she had done into making her fins look absolutely perfect had been destroyed in one night's sleep. Ah, my life is over. Lily started to cry. She was so sad. Have you ever put so much work into something to see it then get completely ruined? Oh, that is very frustrating and very sad. But the amazing thing about Lily is she never gives up. All right. 
She wiped her tears away. And all right, I, let's see, I have 45 minutes. I can do this. I can pull this off, but I cannot do this alone. I must go see Hugo. Lily grabbed her things and off she swam. She had to go see Hugo as fast as she could. Wait, who's Hugo? Oh, yes, Hugo is a cleaning shrimp. A cleaning shrimp is a very cool creature in the ocean. Who ha- It's small like a shrimp, but he has a very special job. He just is obsessed with cleaning things and making sure everything's perfect. And so he runs his own salon for fixing fins and making fish look beautiful. Well, this is an emergency, and hopefully Lily will be able to see Hugo because she needs some serious help. As she started swimming and swimming as fast as she could, she swam past the coral and all the preparations that were beginning for the party. Hey, Lily, shouted one of her lionfish friends. Could you help me with these streamers over here? She shouted. But Lily was too busy. She zoomed past without even saying hello. She was so completely focused and her friend was a little confused. Wait, where's Lily going? I hope she's not going to be late for the party, said her friend. Lily was swimming as fast as she could, which is actually not very fast. Lionfish are not very fast. Do you know why? They actually don't need to be fast because they are very dangerous. Yes, did you know that lionfish are actually deadly to people? Ah! They have spines on their fins with venom. Holy smokes! I didn't know that about Lily. I thought she was just a normal fish. Well, you see, when fish are really fast, like when small fish are fast, they're fast to get away from a predator usually. But Lily, she doesn't need to be fast because all the predators are very afraid of her and all of those spines. That is why she had to go see Hugo because Hugo knew exactly how to to work around her fins without himself getting hurt. Most of the other places in the ocean, uh, they just... They don't know how to uh, help Lily's fins without getting poked and something terrible happened. So that is why she needed to get to Hugo. (sighs) All right, I think it's right up ahead. That's got to be Hugo's place. As she turned the corner, there it was. It was Hugo's salon. All right, I just got to see if he's there. As she went to knock on the door, she saw a sign that said, Closed? Wait a second. It's closed? What am I going to do? Oh no, what is Lily the Lionfish going to do? Is she going to be able to get ready in time for the annual synchronized spawning of corals party? I don't know. And is she going to be able to find Hugo? Well, we'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And do you remember what the annual synchronized spawning of corals means? Was it a really amazing, important game of hide and seek? Or was it the special day of spring cleaning and growing for the coral? Yes, it's the spring cleaning and growing day for the corals. You're right. (laughs) Not a game of hide and seek. That would be fun as well. Well, my friends, I hope you have a super duper day and I cannot wait for our next adventure with Lily. I'll see you next time, my friends. Bye.